What's your pickleball rating? No. Subtract by 0.5. You find pickleball, you pick up a paddle, and then you say, what's my rating, right? Every single pickleball player does this. In their lifetime, they Google pickleball skill rating. They find the USAP. They look at the definition of what a 5.0 is, and they think about, what is my rating? But this is the huge problem we have in pickleball society in America. Pickleball lovers, please leave your comments, please subscribe, and don't forget to have a good day. I hate when someone tells me I'm not a 5-0 or I'm a 3-5. I don't know what I am. I am really good sometimes and I'm not. It's the Wild West in pickleball ratings. So pickleball players go to the USAP's website, but they don't understand the purpose, scope, or domain of these skill ratings, right? Because that's supposed to classify us into what tournaments we should play, what partners we should partner with, but it has nothing to do with that, and I'm gonna break it down right now. The purpose of the USAP skill rating is to determine the rating of a player in a test environment, right? So I have this big sheet, I'm a pro, and when I'm rating someone, I'm seeing can they drop eight out of 10 times in this box? Can they serve nine out of 10 times? But does this really have any basis for how they'll do in tournaments, and more importantly, does it help them find a partner? Because when I'm a coach, they are asking me, what partner should I play with and what level should I play with in a tournament? Because this is the real purpose of ratings, right? How good am I and how do I find a partner that fits my game so I can have a fair shot to do well in a tournament? Because my rating should determine that, but the USAP's definition doesn't because it's a test environment. It doesn't determine how they'll do under pressure or anything like that. We have duper and that's supposedly doing it for us what we can't do for ourselves. <laughs> Furthermore, once my client starts playing a tournament, he has a USAP rating, has a duper rating. They have all that, right? So what does my rating I just gave them for $20 really mean? Give me $40 and I'll make you a 4 0, period. That's the form I fill out if I have to do something. And this is the USAP's definition of skills. However, this is my pro qualifier win with Lindsay. Now, are me or Lindsay a 5 0? No, we're using energy. We're trying to intimidate our opponents because we want to win because we spent like $300 for two games. Seriously. The Wild West in pickleball ratings. Pickleball is not figure skating after all. We're not doing these little twirls on the court. Well, I am because I'm twinkle toes. But what I'm saying is you don't have to look good to win a tournament, right? You don't have to hit these beautiful things like Ben Johns does or move like a gazelle like DJ Howard. What I'm saying is you have to do what makes you win. I'm a banger, right? I can crush the ball. I can't dink as good as some 5-0 or pro players. However, about three weeks ago, I entered a pro tournament and got a pro win over some good players because I played my game that I love, right? I tell my clients when they're going in a tournament, play to your strengths. And if it doesn't work, lob. <laughs> because we really don't have to demonstrate anything like we did in a test environment. That means nothing, right? We have to win. Pickleball players are not hamsters in wheels. Look, they play in wind gusts. And in most tournaments, at least here in South Florida, there's tons of wind you have to play in. So shouldn't they get the skill assessment in wind? Because that's when most tournaments are played on the weekends in wind, in the elements, not indoors, right? Like this, because they look perfect. Cue the music, DJ. 
to take this test case a little farther. It's not really a test case, it's me. But if I'm in a tournament, why the heck would I ever think if I'm not as good as the person on the other side of the court, why wouldn't I bang, play my game, find a partner that can handle really fast shots that has really good reaction times because do I really care that rating at all? Because I really don't care about dinking, right? And that's my real beef about ratings. Do you agree? See how many dinks me and Lindsay hit in this pro qualifying win that we had? Let's count them. Now, if you have one hand, you should be able to count because I don't think we hit one dink at all. That's why I got Lindsay. She's really, really good at what she does. And we're getting better at dinking, right? We're getting better. We're drilling. But when we go into a tournament, we're playing to our strengths. And we're not too concerned about ratings. No, we're not. Cue the music, DJ. For all you haters that comment on our channel 35 at best, I challenge you to come to Orlando. Because what I'm saying is you couldn't hit a third shot drop off Mark Nepotovich spin slice return that I've done several videos on. You couldn't. Or Rich Lively's forehand. You can't see that spin. On YouTube, we do have 4K video, unlike any other YouTube site. I don't know if that's true. You won't be able to touch David Now's forehand speed up because you're not used to it because you have no one to play against that is that good because that's the only way we actually get better in pickleball along with drilling, right? When Christian hits his third shot drop offensively with top spin, you pop it up and get smashed in the face. I don't think you understand what a 5-0 player is because you can miss some things. You can make some mistakes if you're a 5-0 player, unlike the USAP's rating. And that's what I'm saying right now. And if I can't dink at a 4-0 level in an abstract way, does that make me a 3-5 or 3-0? Because no one really understands these ratings. And that's my point about the segment. If you're a pickleball player watching, go to a PPA tournament. Look at the 4-0 final, look at the 3-5 final, and you won't notice the difference between the 4-5 final. I've been to tons of PPA tournaments, and I'm telling you, I'm watching a final, and I'm like, this has to be a 5-0 final, and it is 3-5, because no one understands ratings. No one does. How do we judge ratings on a video? We don't. We don't. I could take 20 bucks and say you're a 3-5, 4-0, or 4-5, but it doesn't matter, does it? Because it only matters if you do good at a tournament and these 15 shot dink rallies that you speak of that makes you a 5-0. I don't think it really does because I think I would speed it up in the first three or four dinks. So what does ratings actually mean? Because you can't see the pace, spin, or anything of these shots on YouTube. One more thing, people say, I hate wind. I don't like playing in wind. They go to a tournament and it's windy it's always windy at a tournament so this test environment case that says you're a 4-0 or 4-5 with the usap's rating i don't think they do a wind case scenario because movement's so important and if you can't move well that should affect your ratings and with duper coming up the best hack would be just to check that ratings on duper instead of um getting rated by me for 20 dollars. i just don't think it's worth it when you can just go play a tournament today. Pickleball lovers, this was such a good video, but let me ask you a question. If you're 4-0 and you go play in a big PPA tournament, how do you do? Because usually four or five players play in 4-0, and this is a big problem many pickleball players have. And don't forget to have a good day.